Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, April the 27th. It looks like it's going to be beautiful today. So hopefully you get outside and enjoy this great weather because this weekend was pretty rainy. Um, I'm not going to keep you very long today because I do want you to get out and enjoy this great weather. Um, also, if you need help from me today on anything, whether it's my work or work from your teacher, stuff you need to get caught up on, please message me either in Remind or Google Hangouts and I am available to help you no matter what you need. And if I don't know the answer, I can surely find the answer out for you and let you know. Okay, so know that and know that I'm available anytime that you need me. Just, just send me a message. So what I want you to do today is I want you to tell me about your weekend. Okay, so I went ahead and wrote about mine. So today is April the 27th. 2020 and it says over the weekend I ah, completed a crossword puzzle and watched bed knobs and broomsticks okay now if you notice mine mine is in a complete sentence so when you send me yours I want it in a complete sentence and the way you do that is start it with those these words over the weekend I and then your verb what did you do rode my bike played outside played basketball watched TV and played video games did the laundry for my mom okay but everybody's thing everybody's paper or or sentence they turn into me should start over the weekend I okay now, as you see mine, over the weekend I completed, that's my verb, I completed a crossword puzzle, where you fill in the blanks, they give you clues and you fill in the blanks, and watched Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. That's a Disney movie from a long time ago, and it's really funny. Um, it, it's, it's about a, a, a family that rides on a bed and they go places. So if you've never seen that, that might be something you might want to watch. If you have Disney+, Plus, it's on Disney+. Plus. If you look at my writing though, when you get to the words bed knobs and broomsticks, it's written a little bit different than the rest of mine. It's because when you write a movie title, you should write it in italics, which is kind of like a fancy writing, okay? You can actually have your letters turn into italics if you do it on, um, on the computer. That's where you click on like the I up at the top where you can underline things and then there's an I and it puts it into italics, okay? Um, just to kind of make an emphasis that this is a title of a movie, okay? Um, when you do books, you underline it. So you might have talked about that in class already. When you talk about a title of a book, it is underlined, okay? So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. So today, what I want you to do is tell me about your weekend and make sure you start it over the weekend I, okay? And tell me what you did. Then I want you to reread it before you send it to me to make sure that it makes sense. And also, you have spell check on your computer. You can look up words, okay? So surely the words over the weekend I should not be spelled wrong. They should be spelled correctly because I'm showing you how to spell them. And please look up how to spell other words if you're not quite sure, okay? Because that's what your computer's for. You can look it up on there. You can send it to me through Remind or on Google Hangouts. If you want to take a, write it on a piece of paper or your dry erase board and take a picture of it, that's fine. Or if you just want to type it out, that's fine. But either way, I want you to check your spelling and I want you to start with over the weekend I. Okay? Um, I can't wait to hear what you guys did over the weekend. I always love reading them. And I will be back tomorrow. I will see you guys later. Have a great night or great day. Get outside and play. Bye.